This used to be called multi-axis roughing in uh, previous versions. They, they renamed it and they, they gave it a whole overwork. So if we get into our multi-axis pocketing, I'm going to pick this oval form tool. We're going to come down to our cut parameters and you'll see here that we have the option for roughing, floor finishing and wall finishing. So I can copy down my tool paths, kind of like I could in uh, uh, the blade expert, you know, where I could do the hub and then do the blades and the splinters and all that stuff. So on this one, I'm going to do the wall finishing. I'm going to pick my floor. I'm going to pick my wall. Okay. I'm going to tell it to stay parallel to the floor. And I'm going to do a zigzag so that I go back and forth and I don't get extra retracts. And that's fine. Uh, tool axis control. Now this, this is where this tool path gets a little different. Okay. But once you understand it, it, it makes all kinds of sense. Okay. So I've got a preferred contact point, a minimum contact point, and a maximum contact point. So if we look at our end mill, and if we're looking at the very tip of the end mill, this is our zero contact point. This is zero. And if we work all the way around to the end of our end mill where the flutes end, that's our maximum contact point. Okay. So if we're at 50%, we're contact, our, our contact point right here, okay? So depending on what shape your tool is and what geometry you got, you, you're going to want different contact points, okay? And that's your preferred contact point. And then you got to give it a range to work in, okay? So I'm going to tell it to stay at the 50% contact point with a maximum and a minimum 20 and 60, okay? And we're all good. So I can see that that tool path comes in here. Just side tilts and gradual tilts as it gets down there. Okay. It, it's not, I'm not letting it get all the way down in there because of my tool holders not long enough. Okay. So it's gouge checking and making sure it's tilting all the way away and all that stuff. It's all good.